Hello, Internet Drummers! My name is John Ditter, and today I'm going to give you four tips for getting the most out of your drum lessons. Now, I'm assuming most of you are sitting there thinking, he's just gonna tell me to practice, and I already know all that. Yes, I'm gonna tell you to practice, but there's more to it than just that. Actually, the number one thing you can do to enhance your drum lesson experience is simply asking the question, why am I taking drum lessons? And, and then answering that question, obviously. Oddly enough, the answer doesn't matter too much. Maybe you thought the drums looked cool and just want to learn some basic rock beats. Maybe you want some help getting into a specific ensemble, like your school jazz band or the music group at your church. Maybe you're an adult with a full-time job and three kids, and you just want a fun, scheduled, personal activity. Any of these answers are fine, as long as you're honest with yourself. You probably don't realize it, but this information is incredibly useful to your teacher. It helps them make all kinds of decisions, from what topics to cover, to how hard to push you. The adult who's trying to have fun, and the high school senior who's trying to get into a competitive university program need completely different lessons. And the beauty of one-on-one -on -one instruction is that both people can get what they need, provided they share their goals with their teacher. Now the answer to why are you taking drum lessons can absolutely change, especially as your drumming improves or your life circumstances change. So check back in with yourself maybe once a month or at the very least a couple times a year. This will ensure that you and your teacher are still Still moving in the same direction. Speaking of your teacher, my second tip may seem odd, but you need to believe that your teacher can actually help you. You would not believe some of the interactions I've had in my own lessons. My dad, who doesn't play the drums at all, said I should hold the drumsticks like this, so I'm gonna do that instead of whatever you say. I'm gonna just beat on YouTube. Think you can play this beat? You probably can't. You're not as good as those guys on YouTube. No, I just got my drum set a couple days ago, and you probably have a, like a standard thing you do with beginners, but if we don't start playing some Rush songs by next week, I'm just gonna quit. Presumably, you are paying your teacher for their advice, so follow it, or at least try to follow it. That's not to say there aren't bad teachers out there, or even good teachers who are just a bad fit for you personally, but as long as you are voluntarily paying for this person's help, let them help you. If it turns out that you're not getting the results or the experience that you want, then maybe it's time to look for a new teacher. And if you're going to follow your teacher's advice, you are going to have to follow my third tip, which is to actually practice. See? We finally got there. Most drum lessons are between 30 and 60 minutes once a week. That's just not enough time to make noticeable progress on the instrument. You're gonna have to spend time outside of class. I mean, imagine if you were training for a marathon. A what? A marathon. You couldn't run just one day a week. Any progress you made one day would be negated by the following six days of rest. It works the same for drumming. A hidden benefit of actually practicing is you will inevitably run into issues and come up with questions that you can then take to your next lesson. I mean, maybe you can play most of a tune, but it sounds like the drummer is doing something different in this one part. Or maybe you can play a beat up to a certain tempo, but you're wondering if you have to change your technique to get over the hump. These are things you can ask your teacher, which will then make the lessons more engaging for both of you. My final tip might not apply to everyone, especially younger students, but if at all possible, go see your teacher perform. If nothing else, this will give you an idea of where your own playing might be headed, because most, if not all, teachers are going to teach you to play the way they themselves play. And if you are genuinely unimpressed with your teacher's playing, then perhaps you should find another teacher. More often than not, though, you will be impressed by your teacher's performance and that will inspire you to spend more time and energy on your own drumming. I know for me, watching my own teachers play is often more motivating than watching famous drummers. When I see Buddy Rich or Thomas Lang or Benny Greb, I think I might not ever be able to do that. But when I watch my own teachers play live, I think, hey, I know that guy. He lives in my town. He could literally show me how to do exactly what he's doing right now. I can do it! So go out and see your teacher perform live. At the very least, you'll be supporting your local music scene, which helps keep this whole machine running. That's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have other ideas on how to get the most or more out of drum lessons, help your fellow drummers out and leave an answer in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching.